Okay, so if you've just updated to the latest version of Windows 11 as of October 2022, that's version 22H2, then you might have noticed when you go into File Explorer that you've lost this PC and your libraries. So how do you get them back? More details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, it seems to be that uh, Windows 11 version 22H2 has brought some changes, especially to File Explorer. It's changed quick access to the word home. So yet whilst you've got desktop downloads, documents, pictures, music and videos there, which is great, we seem to have lost this PC. How do you get that back for starters? So what you need to do is you need to open up a File Explorer window. So to do that, just open up any yellow folder. Once you see that open, then go up to the three horizontal dots just up there in the top right hand corner of the File Explorer box. Left click once and that will get you this menu come up. Go down to Options, left click. And then once you get the folder options come up, go across to the View tab just there left click then under advanced settings there if we scroll all the way down and we've got an option here show this pc so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to tick that show this pc click on apply and then click on ok and there you go this pc is back and we can see our drives and obviously our folders again in there now what about if we want our libraries back what we do is we click on the three horizontal dots again up in the top right hand corner of the file explorer box go down to options click again go to view click again and then scroll the way down and here we go we've got show libraries there so once we click on apply there and okay as you can see libraries has returned again a lot of this is duplicated so if you did want to get rid of some of this again, you can go to the three horizontal dots up there in the top right hand corner again, click that, click options, click view, and then go down and just take your tick out of whatever you don't want. So I'm going to take the tick out of show libraries and click on apply and then click on OK. And as you can see, libraries has disappeared. Now let's go back and see what else we've got in there. So I'm going to go back up to the three horizontal dots, left click once, left click on options, click on view, scroll down to the bottom and as you can see here other options we've got here is show network so if I click on show network then click apply then click OK you can see the network there and if there was any other network devices in there they would be listed below going back to the three horizontal dots then options then view and then go down we've also got here always show availability status so if something's offline if it's in the cloud it will show you whether it's in the cloud or not you've also got their show all folders so if we click on show all folders click on apply click on ok and there you go that shows you absolutely everything that shows you an empty cd drive it shows you the network icon the control panel the recycle bin so i know some people prefer to have everything up on the screen and the final checkbox we've got in there is expand to open folder so if we tick that click on apply click on ok again and if i go into any folder it'll expand on the left hand side to wherever we're going so there you go as you can see it's expanded automatically on the left hand side there without that ticked i'm just going to show you uh, what it does so let's just do that click on the three horizontal dots options view and i'm going to take the tick out of expand to open folder click on apply click on ok let's shut this back up and if i go into photos there as you can see it just stays static there whereas when i had expand to open folder selected if i go into photos as you can see there you go, it expands to the photo, to the folder that I've gone into on the left. So there you go, uh, a minor little irritation, but easy enough to get back. That is in the latest version of Windows 11 22H2 as I'm recording this video in October 22. Don't forget, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not have a look around? I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, and maybe even amuse you.
I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.